Hello Aries. Welcome to Lady of the Unknown Oracle. This is Sophie. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited to have you. Please take a seat and I hope this message resonates for you. Um, if you are returning, I appreciate that so much. I am so happy to have you. Please, please, I hope that if this message resonates, that you leave a comment down below. I'd love to know where, you, where you're at in your journey. Please like as well. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Um, I am so happy to have you guys here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a reading for Aries for the remainder of January 2019. This is Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. This is a general reading. Could pertain to, to love, could pertain to finances, it could pertain to just everything. So let's let's see what we've got. Working on something, creating a plan for something, learning a new skill, pursuing a career path, putting the time in. Okay, the cards are talking. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. Yep, at the bottom, here we go with you, with the fool. Taking a leap of faith. Don't know why I felt compelled to put that in the challenge position. Presently, we've got the high priestess. You're seeing things clearly. You're following your intuition. Your intuition is telling you what direction to take. In your uh, in the challenge position, we've got the five of wands. Internally, you might be finding a lot of conflict. Um, in your in your mind, you are the page of swords. You're collecting and you're collecting and gathering information. Looks like you're going to try to make a decision about something, how to pursue something. With the star in your feelings, you're feeling very, very close to your intuition. You're feeling very enlightened and it seems like there's something, some kind of spark, some type of optimism, some type of optimism that you've gained. You're really feeling super, super hopeful. Despite this, this five of wands in the challenge position, I feel like might be something from the past. Yeah, in the past you have the eight of swords, exactly. There's, there's, in the past you had this self-sabotaging behavior, self-sabotaging way of being, way of thinking, that really limited how far you thought you could go. Whether in, in career or in, in relationships, coming in you have a decision to make, exactly. That's why you're thinking that's why you're gathering information. There's a move, some type of next move you're planning on taking and you just want to know which way to go. You see yourself as Six of Pentacles weighing the pros and cons. A lot to think about. In the environment, you've got the King of Pentacles. Someone who you might be paired up with if this is a romantic relationship. Someone that you are paired up with who is very successful. Maybe you look up to that person. Maybe they're helping you um, drive this forward with you. Your fear is the six of wands. You're afraid of being put in the spotlight. Maybe you're afraid of fear, of failure. Sorry, maybe you're afraid of failure. You want the six of wands. So the idea of not achieving success and victory in this pursuit would, of course, make you really upset. With the ten of wands and your potential outcome, I would not be afraid. I feel like you're going to drop the ten of wands. I do. I feel like that those those, dro those wands are going to be dropped. All right, Aries. So there's you're definitely trying to overcome a self-limiting belief system that you've had for quite some time, and you're feeling very optimistic about it. You're you're again with the full energy touching this reading. I feel like you have a lot of support in your environment to help you move forward. There's a hope here because you're seeing how it can all come into play. You might have had things recently like come into place. Things have, think like the stars have aligned, if you will. 
you're you're coming into your intuitive power with the high priestess and understanding that this five of wands is petty you know this this five of wands in your own mind this conflict in your own mind is petty you're you're raising your vibration to a higher consciousness where this two of wands this decision that you're making you realize you really can't lose the only way you lose is if you stand still and you don't make a decision I can already tell you, you're going to drop the Ten of Wands. All these wands up here in your potential outcome, you're going to drop them. And you're with the Ten of Wands at the bottom again. What's under the Ten of Wands? With the Six of Cups, you're going to leave this Ten of Wands in the past. This burden that was held, you're going to leave it in the past. Yeah, you're going to leave it in the past for sure. The High Priestess, you've got tapping into your intuition. You're able to communicate much more clearly what it is you're feeling, what it is you're thinking. You're able to move quickly now because of this increased consciousness this higher level of consciousness this higher vibration you're able to really now go in the, in the direction that you know to be true for you you're getting a much clearer understanding of the direction you want to take now whether this is in love or career i'm feeling both it really doesn't matter this is applicable to, to all situations right aries there's your you're, there's a greater understanding of what you need there's a greater internal understanding of what your purpose is and you're able to move forward much more quickly now because of this intuitive nudge that you're receiving with the five of wands um of being the challenge this internal conflict maybe you're used to maybe with the seven of cups we've got confusion coming out of confusion maybe a lot of conflicting options but above all we have corrupting of innocence somewhat right so you have this optimism in your heart and you've got all of these conflicting ideas this old way of thinking these old habits these old you know self-sabotaging thoughts they're trying really hard to bring weight to your optimism you're ready to move forward you're ready to make the right changes you're ready to do correctly by yourself you're ready to heal you're ready to shoot for the stars. But what's challenging you is this old belief system that you have. It, you're almost completely out of it. This is just like it's, it's last ditch effort to sabotage you. It's like this devil energy. With the star, we have destiny, fate, optimism, a change in your fortune. Absolutely. Your optimism is, is of divine importance. Your optimism is essentially the vehicle that you will be able to achieve your new fortune in. Maybe up to now you've had a very difficult time and you're like, you know what, what else do I have to lose? Things have already gotten as bad as they're going to get, right? They're already as bad as they're going to get. What does it matter? And so you're moving forward in confidence because you're like, you know what, it, when I can choose to be anything in this world, I choose to be happy. And you say, you know what, let me be optimistic. Just like that, Aries, your fortune is changing. In your heart space, you have this love, this optimism, this healing, and it's what's making this drive forward so incredibly prosperous and abundant for you. In your mind, you're, you're the page of swords, you're gathering information so that you can make a queen of swords decision. You can cut out what doesn't serve, which is this eight of swords. This eight of swords was a sabotage to your happiness. As an individual, your own emotions, you were tying yourself up. Maybe you were investing emotionally into the wrong things. You convinced yourself that maybe happiness was limited to people who were not in your position, whatever that position was. So you moved out of it. You moved out of this Eight of Swords. You moved closer to your Nine of Cups. You realized that happiness was not only possible, but it was meant for you. So coming in, you've got the two of wands. You're making a decision. You have the strength to persevere. You understand that of the choices that you have in front of you, you can't go wrong as long as you remain optimistic, as long as you do your research beforehand, as long as you don't let this self-sabotaging behavior guide your decision. As long as you are within your power, look at this with the, with the emperor. As long as you stand in your power, Aries, and you gather the strength, whatever decision that you choose to make, is going to work out for you with optimism in your heart and an understanding of what the facts are you know how to navigate your environment your strength and your intellect together allows you to push forward and be in complete control of your destiny you see yourself as weighing the pros and cons you're doing your research you're going within you understand that this is a solo mission what it is you're trying to achieve in your life 
whether that's in finance, career, job, um, school, I mean, love, whatever it is, you understand that you have to be balanced within yourself. There's an enlightenment that you um, have to have complete by the time you plan on making any sort of movement forward. But you're doing the research, you're going within and you're reflecting on what it is is going to make you happy versus what it is that's available to you. In your environment, you have the King of Pentacles, someone who's also doing really well, someone who has also been in your position and has shot for the stars. Someone else who might be a fire sign as well, or at least someone that understands your drive and passion. Someone who might already be where you want to be and you look up to them because they, they're maybe they're helping get you through this situation. Someone in your environment, or maybe this is you. You see how you want to be. You see who you want to become. You know what's going, what it's going to take for this this level of stability maybe there's some someone or something in your environment that's extremely stable and it, it inspires you it inspires your drive forward it inspires your movement uh, closer to it it's because of this thing that you are now transforming it's the thing that's helping con helping you combat this conflict, this inner conflict, is the fact that you see what you want because it's real. It's not a dream. You see it. It's in your environment. And you're shooting ever more into it. Your fear is the Six of Wands. You're afraid you're going to fail. You're afraid that attached to the Six of Wands is your Ten of Cups. And that by not achieving success in this thing that you want to pursue, that you're also, in essence, going to be losing your Ten of Cups. But that's not true. With the Prince of, Princess of Cups is very optimistic. And she understands that slow and steady wins the race. She's a free spirit and understands how life works. She understands that one failure doesn't make every effort after that or every effort before that a failure. That the Ten of Cups is not, is not tied to any one individual event or one individual person. The Ten of Cups is what you create it to be. And if you find success in literally everything else in life, then you can have the Ten of Cups now instead of saying, well, I'll have the Ten of Cups when I dot, dot, dot. The Ten of Cups is tied to your optimism. It's tied to your understanding of where you are emotionally and what makes you happy in the moment. You cannot lose success there unless you choose to attach your Ten of Cups to something that you can lose easily. Like money like material things but i get the feeling here aries that what you want is not stability in the 3d but an internal stability because that internal stability is going to be important for you no matter what arena in life you are in with the ten of wands in your potential outcome we also have the judgment exactly there might be a ten of wands from your past that's trying to come back but with your judgment, you're putting it to rest. With the King of Cups, this was internal. It was emotional. A lot of emotional baggage. A lot of self... Um, a lot of feelings geared toward... Like, a lot of how you feel in terms of giving emotion. Right? Maybe you were giving emotional... You were investing your emotions, again, into things that didn't serve, into thoughts that didn't serve. Your emotions were being tied up in things that really should have just been laid to rest. And instead, you were using them to keep yourself stagnant. Here, you're dropping the wands. You're saying, you know what, maybe the ten of wands, you know, with the five of wands, internal conflict is constantly trying to come back. It's With, with judgment, you have a revival, right? But you also have reconciliation. You also have understanding the Ten of Wands and saying, I understand why you're here, but you no longer serve, so you get to go back to sleep. I understand what you're trying to protect me from, but that doesn't serve me right now, and so your purpose is fulfilled. You can go, you can go now. Bye. <laughs> Whatever it is that it was leading you to do emotionally was sabotaging your growth. It was sabotaging your progress. With the Queen of Cups, you've got a couple here. We've got... Not even a, 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 a couple in love. I'm feeling that this is your inner stability. The yin, the yang, right? The, recep the reception of emotion and the, um, the giving of emotion. So the give and take, your, your complete process of emotion within yourself. How you invest your emotion, 
who you allow to enter your emotional space, the things that you will grant access to within your mind, those are all things now that have to meet a very specific set of criteria to enter. We've got the Ten of Wands here. So the Ten of Wands is significant, but it's being left in the past. Yep. There was disappointment, betrayal. The Three of Swords doesn't have to be... I look at the threes and they don't have to be three individual people. The three could be within yourself, your mind, body, and spirit. There could have been a disharmony here in the past where it was just oppressive. It, it, it you know, the waves... The waves went throughout all of your all of your life, the different aspects of your life. It, there was an echo throughout everything that you did where your self-sabotage followed. It followed in your relationships where you felt like you weren't worthy of love. It happened in your careers where in your career where you thought you weren't worthy of success, that other people were always better than you, and you tried so hard to be perfect and it didn't work out. And so you ended up, you know, sabotaging your own growth because you didn't think you deserved it and then eventually through self-fulfilling prophecy you didn't get it and so you went back you set back a couple notches but with this full energy you have a complete overhaul of the way you used to be you're not afraid of the unknown in fact you embrace it you're excited for the unknown you're excited about about what's to come because you've grown because now you understand that the only thing stopping you was yourself and that's not a problem anymore. You've reached a level of balance. You've reached harmony. You're not afraid of yourself anymore. You're progressing forward. And you're prioritizing yourself above all. You've reached a, a, a very high level of intuition and emotional stability. And you're going where fate is guiding you and your fortune is changing tremendously, Aries. You are gaining complete control of your environment you are maintaining your strength through it all. And while your fear here is losing the Six of Wands and not being sex, um, successful in your endeavor, I feel like you will be able to succeed in every endeavor you pursue from here on out. As long as you stay aligned and you stay, you stand in your power. And as long as you keep on pushing back and reasoning through this self-sabotaging behavior, as long as you give it its time to, to speak its peace and you say, you know what, I understand that was what you were for, but I don't need you anymore. Let me just put you, let me put you in the past. The Ten of Wands, yes, I understand you were just trying to protect me from rejection from other people, but you know what, I understand that rejection sometimes is God's protection. And if I get rejected from certain jobs, that's just because it wasn't meant for me. So while I appreciate the pressure you put on me, it's not necessary. I understand now what these things mean. I understand now what this these difficulties in life mean. I don't need you to make me feel so bad that I just choose not to make decisions anymore. I can make decisions on my own because now I am actually doing the research and I actually understand what's happening around me. And with that, I gain complete control of my environment and I can make the decision that I need to without sabotaging myself, without trying to take the blame onto myself just because it's easier to do that than to fail potentially. Right, Aries? So congratulations. This is really incredible. This is amazing. You have support here, and if you don't have support from actual people, it looks like whatever stability it is that you are envisioning for yourself is becoming so crystal clear that you have no doubt of your capability anymore. And I don't think you ever will again. Okay, Aries, this is all within your power. This is all within your power, and as long as you stay in alignment with yourself, you can persevere through everything and this clarity is coming this 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 inner healing and this complete change of fortune is happening this month for you and this is it's gonna affect everything not just love not just finance is gonna affect everything i'll pull one one romance angel card that'll be it because this could really just be everything in love that could be something that you need to uh that could be a theme that has been coming into your life yep 
The relationship that you have with yourself, with release your ex at the bottom. The relationship that you have within yourself, the partnership that you share with your with your spirit, with your own mind, with your heart. Make sure that you are dedicating enough time to that. Take all the time that you need. Release any energy that's blocking you, this self-sabotage that sometimes rears its ugly head. Give yourself the fighting chance to move past it by releasing and then taking care of yourself. Dealing with the heaviness that you're dealing with is very difficult and does require time. But with time, you can, you can absolutely get through it. I see it here. There's no losing for you, Aries. Not unless you just give up. But you won't. That's not your style. <laughs> right? It's not your style. So. Alright, my lovely Aries. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you. I know I, I sound a little bit, you know, a little, a little slow right now. The energy has just been extremely heavy. Extremely heavy. I, I It's probably the eclipse coming up. I feel like I'm on the, I'm touching the, the outskirts, almost like a hurricane, right? When you're getting all that rain on the outside of the eye of the hurricane. That's how I feel. I feel like, I feel like the, the energy from the eclipse is on its way and I'm really just feeling the outskirts of it. So, um, but I feel so happy for you and this is really wonderful. This is a beautiful message and I hope that it resonates for you because this is truly great. You're moving past self-sabotage, which is a challenge for all of us on some level and you're moving past it to the point where nothing can really touch you. Your optimism is, you know, level a million. Your optimism is really carrying you through all these situations, no matter what they, they are in regards to. So you're doing great and I am so happy for you, okay, Aries? Please take care of yourself. Enjoy the rest of your month. I will see you soon. And thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If this resonated with you, please like, share, subscribe. And leave me a comment down below. I would love to know where you are in your journey. And until next time, mwah, light, love, and so many blessings. Huge, tight hugs. I will see you next time, Aries. I love you. Mwah.